Hey guys, Paul for here, the Sniper with the Skills, and welcome back to Overtime. In the last episode, we met the medic, Sani. And in this episode, we are going to continue exploring the old hospital. The door doesn't open. You take a look through the keyhole. Behind the keyhole is nothing except a bright red color. You suppose there's nothing of importance in that room. What? You can flee from most battles, though sometimes your foe will prevent you from doing so. Other times, fleeing is the only option. But even if you flee, your foes will always catch you and continue the fight. Huh. Our currency is called Australium. It is abbreviated as A, AU, or AUS. Alright, foes, well, thank you. I give you some of their Australium. You can also just murder them and steal all of it. Your choice. I think. Okay, so new. new and. Welcome to the manual of the Manco Home Protection Unit version 1.13. This security system will impale any intruders and only in the rare case is pets. Step 1. Select a 3 digit code. Step 2. Enter the code to activate the spikes. Step 4. Deactivate the spikes. Enter the code again. In case the code was entered incorrectly, pull the lever to reset it. In case you're prone to forgetting codes, write it down somewhere. Sandy has written something here. It says calendar. Four two seven. I remembered that. I see you. Oh no. It doesn't open. What a dork. For those of you that don't know, that's a gibbous. Which can only mean one thing is what they've turned Nabs the Bluke into. It looks like someone left a worn tap top hat on the floor. It seems like it's resting on some kind of surfboard. You reach down to pick up the hat. Are you out of your senses? Can't a ghost take a nap in peace? I hope this godforsaken place would finally grant me some rest. Is it not enough that I was forced to die in my own miserable pits? Of sand and dust that I died and suffered for absolutely nothing? Oh! <gasps> The original owner of the gibbous, everyone. Why does life still find a way to bother me? When does this pain end? Why can't you just leave me alone in my misery? Oh, I see your gun now. I know what you are here for. Very well, then. Here comes Zephaniah Man, the father of the... of the... of the man... Co of the man brothers. Oh, his little ghost on his hat's blinking! Act. Zephaniah. Inspect. Zephaniah. Damage 3, HP 666. Bullets won't do anything, or will they? Glares back at you. Oh, Pac Man. Pac Man style. Oh, there's. Are they. Okay. Zephaniah's mood hasn't changed a bit, or has it? No, definitely not. Or yes? Shock. You asked Zephaniah how his day was. He ignores your question. My useless sons dragged me to the States. They convinced me to buy bearing gravel pits. I dreamed of making a fortune here by manufacturing weapons. Oh, I took a hit. Zephaniah seems like he needs to rant some more. Distract. You ask the ghost what's that behind him. He ignores you. I can see behind me, you know, I'm a ghost. Am I safe right here? I'm safe right there. Flirt, you tell Zephaniah he's very handsome. He remains unfazed. Scoffs. So there's this is the safe spot for this fight. Seems like someone doesn't celebrate Valentine's Day. You look at him eagerly, as if you were waiting for him to finish his story. Okay, so we have to listen to his story. Yet it turned out to be nothing but acres and acres of useless dry sand. So I wasted my entire life trying to build my empire in that desert. But it was all for nothing, as I caught every disease known to man and died. Since then, I've, I've hated all weapons. Yep, that's what happened to Zephaniah Man. It feels like Zephaniah has more to say. Alright. You're beginning to get more and more invested. I swore to hunt anyone who uses firearms over my bones. Yet the morons of the Badlands do nothing but that. Shooting left and right as if they had nothing better to do. This is actually cool because you... For those of you that don't know, you're learning the lore behind Team Fortress 2. You take out a piece of paper and start to write down notes. I will be forced to stay on this awful planet for all eternity. 
Unless these fools are willing to give up their weapons. It appears that Zephaniah still has one last thing to say. You raise your hand and ask if this is going to be on the test. But that won't happen anytime soon. My suffering shall never end, it seems. Aw, Zephaniah. Zephaniah seems to have finished his story now. You won! You're in Zero Australium. You didn't use your gun at all, but why? Why did you not try to shoot at me? So Zephaniah's actually was his last portrayal was a very old man, so that's why I'm doing that instead of doing a ghostly voice, which he's known for because on on certain maps, when it's like when all the lights turn off in an area, a ghost floats around. That's Zephaniah Man wearing a gibbous. So instead of doing a ghostly voice, I'd I'd rather give him an old old guy voice. Because I am a ghost? Or do you simply not like using weapons? Maybe it is not too late. Maybe not everyone around here is an idiot who only cares for themselves. Thank you. Aww, that's so cute. Oh boy, here comes some fights, I bet. Room C, bathroom. Is there a... Welcome to the Manual of the Manco Home Protection Unit version 1.95. This new version enables you to use four digit codes for your security system. Enabling and disabling spikes works exactly as it did with previous models. If you are prone to forgetting the code, write it down somewhere. Sandy has written something to here. It says, find the numbers in the room and sort them by the letters of the rooms they were in from A to D. Okay. Room D, storeroom. Room A, ward. So, Door room. Wait. Is it by. Okay, it's by ABCD. So we're gonna be going. We're gonna do the rooms in order. Are we gonna get a fight? This bed is too hard. Yes! This bed is too soft! This bed is just right. No, it's too soft as well. Looks like someone drew on this drawer. The note on the wall reads, 1 plus 1 equals, so the first, you pick up a dirty syringe. Surely this will heal you. Oops. Hopefully that is medicine. Alright, so next up we have, nope, not the bathroom. We have to go to room B. So we have 2 is our first number. Inside the drawers are some very old ripped up patient's charts. The note on the wall reads, 16... I'm gonna say that's divided by two. So that, so it goes two. Ooh, who's here? I have eight seven interrupts your peaceful walk. Yes, he did. Clean. Use a wet rag to clean Sven's armor until you can see your face in it. This is nicer. You put wax on the rag and polish Sven's armor until it's a shiny again. I feel a lot better. Sven's grin is as bright as his armor now. You won! You earned three Australian. Looks like no one has used that bed in a long time. Nonetheless, the sheets seem to have been changed recently. That's nice that, that Sani's cleaning up the place. So, our first number is two, then eight. Two, two, eight, okay. It looks like there used to be a mirror behind the sink, but it was removed. Just let that sink in for a moment. I am very happy with this so far. The puns are beautiful. An old bathtub, just a heads up, that's a shower head. Five plus nine minus 10. 284. I write seven rants and a nearby cat uses this as an opportunity to be sad. You reach out and pet the crying cat's head. Pet the cat. Always pet the cat.
clean the until it's shiny again. I took a hit. You won. You are in seven Australian. Two, eight, four. Now, I'm going to guess it's six. I see you watching up there. In the wardrobe is another person. Oh no, it's actually just a broken mirror, reflecting your image back at you. There are also some robes in there, which are meant to be worn in this ward. They appear to have a small tag on them which says, Ward Robes. Ah. The note on the wall reads, 7 minus 2 equals 5. So, 2, 8, 4, 5. 28, 45. There we go. How is this, how is trying to open this doors, how, how is trying to open doors working out for you so far? I love it. If you hire, you will still encounter foes, but they will stop coming once you murder every single one of them. Hire them all or kill them all, which path will you take? Either. Sometimes you need to try to hire, even if the person is not happy. How do I know that? Oh no. So, to a reg to a regular passerby, that looks like a crowbar. But this is a game about a game that uses the Half-Life 2 engine. So, that's no ordinary crowbar, I think. You pick up the crowbar. Finally, a sword worthy of a knight like you. You can see it in front of your eyes, opening doors, crawling through vents, and saving the world with it. People will love you. The army will hate you. Aliens will visit Earth to meet you in person. You will be a hero. Stories will be told about you. Businessmen will want to hire you. You'll become a legendary icon. Actually, the crowbar breaks in two. Oh well. At least you can still use the Derringer. Let's do... The cat first. I, I'm gonna pet the cat every single time, because look at the sad cat. I have to pet the kitty cat. This is good so far, I like it. Use a wet rag and you clean his armor until you can see a face in it. Ah, dang it. Also, just so you know, my back button is shift for some reason. Higher. You won. You earned seven Australium. So, yeah, everyone. I'm loving this. Oh! <gasps> Cinematic. Oh, hello! You're here earlier than I expected. Hmm? You are sorry you, I, you didn't wait? <laughs> I think we both know I did really mean it. I knew from the second I saw you that nothing could prevent you from moving forward. That's why I reactivated the security system and left you all these hints. You recovered so much quicker than expected, I just needed to see how quickly. You have something special in you. Something that keeps you from giving up. You succeeded where others failed. But enough of that. Why don't you come inside? I still have something to show you. Follow me when you're ready. Aww. Pick up a dirty syringe. Surely this will heal you. May your hopes and dreams live on forever in these flowers. I'm wondering who, because this is an Undertale game. The tomb-like silence of Sandy's Garden reminds you of your termination. That's a very specific choice of words. The tomb. Because, oh no, no, not my song, no, oh boy. <laughs> Guys, I'm not joking, my eyes just started watering. Uh, let's explore other places first. What's this? It's an oil painting of a pool of water. 
<laughs> I get it. This one is a water painting of a pool of oil. Is this Sandy's Sandy's room? It's Sandy's diary. You turn to a random page. It's from a long time ago. Dear diary, I have failed. I was unable to save them, no matter how much I tried, and believe me, I tried. Being all alone in this world now must be a nightmare. I'm scared I'm going to fail once again. I have kept working on the old machine. Hopefully it will work. You flip to another page. Dear diary, today I have failed again, more than ever before. The machine did not work. Turn the page from three days ago. Dear diary, there might be some hope again. I am looking, and I am looking forward. I can look at myself again. I shall replace the broken mirror soon. You decide to leave the diary alone for now. It's no, no. I misread. Wait, oh, I can't skip it. Oh, okay. I found it. Oh, I can't read that. Inside the drawer is a sewing kit as well as some fabrics. A very primitive looking drawing of Sammy. In fact, it's so primitive, Sammy looks like a caveman in it. Aww. Lots of white coats as well as some red coats. Coats you... Coat you believe... A Sandy sized bed. I almost screamed. I'm genuinely almost screamed. I'm just gonna check that last. The closet contains dusty old dummies. Among the dummies are also some smarties. <laughs> Ooh, there's candy in this closet. What does Sandy need these children's toys for? And... Game developer, you just literally shot me right in the heart. Okay, I'm scared. Seems like Sandy didn't care much for this certain flower. A bit scared what that means but what's this say schematics and blueprints for some sort of machine it looks like it looks familiar to you it does look familiar to me hello all right I promised that I would show you my new invention and here it is could you do me a favor and stand on that red target over there uh, let's read the fridge first a place to keep things like organs cold simple fridge logic spy are you in there spy Wait, no, that's the red team medic. Never mind, Spy is the Spy. Wait, Red Spy, are you in there? Spy, don't worry, we'll get you out of there. Just when you thought you couldn't sink any lower, you encounter this. I, I am loving these puns. An operating table. Behind it are various instruments for operating on the human body and on machines. For those of you don't know, that's a bone saw. Alright. Now just hold still. It will not hurt, I promise. Please, don't. <gasps> it worked! Don't you feel so much better? Oh, you're confused again, aren't you? This is what I call a medigun! I could go into boring details and explain how it works, but I don't think I have the time. All, of you, all you need to know is that it repairs every single cell in your body, reversing any injury. It actually literally flawlessly heals you. It's a medical breakthrough. And I am so proud of myself for inventing it. So if you ever feel unhealthy, just come to me and I will heal you immediately. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Anything at all? Mm, nothing? Good. Bother me if you need anything. Can I talk to the machine? It's a medical machine that heals people within seconds. What a revolution in modern medicine. Can I help you? Why don't you go now? Wait here, please. I'll be right back. Oh, no. Oh, no. If I know anything, I know what's about to go down. Oh, no. Uh, before this, I realized I didn't read these, these flowers. I didn't talk to these flowers. Yet more flowers. <laughs> and a lot of fairy tales and fictional stories. Among them are Alice in Wonderland, The Adventures of Pinocchio, as well as some very old and dusty Russian novels. A bunch of historical, scientific, and historical science books. Historical, scientific, and historical science books. Scientific history books are missing. So, I already noticed something else, but we'll, we'll address that later. Uh-oh. 
this is the only entrance and exit this hospital has. And I'm going to destroy it now so you can't leave. No, no, no. If this was... They all left me and so will you. I thought that because I saved your life, you'd have a reason to keep me company. Medic! Medic! But I guess that was too much to ask for. Medic! No! You're just like the rest of them. They only come to me when they need something, and then they just leave again. No, I, I appreciate pocket- I appreciate medics, but if you want to leave... Oh no. You'll need to get past me. Oh no! Sani is blocking your way. Act, Sani. Talk. You don't think talking will work on, in this situation. Oh my goodness! Now, if I know anything... Plus, what did Archimedes tell us? Oh. oh my goodness, the syringe gun attack! Okay, I got that science step. Sandy avoids your gaze. Filled with juicy goodness, 5 HP restored. What are you doing? I keep getting hit by the syringes. Oh, let's just get it. Spider HP restored. What are you? Where are you going with this? Oh no, I'm gonna die. I am. Unless. <gasps> it did happen! Sandy avoids your gaze. Are you actually trying to hire me? Why? It's happening! Sandy avoids your gaze. Stop it. Oh no. Is it gonna happen again? What for? I don't deserve it. Okay, I got that back. Good, Sandy's hands are trembling. Oh no. I am not someone you want to employ. I'm just a waste of time. Please stop trying to hire me. No. I want you on my team, Medic. Ah, What am I even doing here? I keep hearts beating. I don't stop them. Sandy throws down his weapons and spares you. You won. You earned zero Australium. Don't tell me they actually animated this. What have I done? I tried to imprison you here forever just so I could have someone, some company at, li at last. What is wrong with me? I've been lonely for too long. I used to be the doctor of someone, you know. But I got, rep I just got replaced. Now there's a new one getting all the love and praise. And I just shut myself away here. I was hoping this new medigun would make me a bit more popular, so that I wouldn't be excluded anymore. But I'm deeply sorry. I don't know if you can ever forgive me. Please take this medicine for your wounds. Be careful out there. This world can be very dangerous, a very dangerous place. We are in the Badlands of Team Fortress 2. It's very dangerous. Now please, oh, Alvita Shang, you received a bad kit. Replenishes your HP, but at what cost? Wait, why would I use this? That... Mm. Now... If I were to backtrack all the way to the beginning, I think the medic would be there. So that wasn't a hallucination. I help, Loss. Oh, uh, sorry about that earlier. I've been drinking a lot lately. My wife's been cheating on me. Oh my gosh, Siri. Okay, sorry for... But I shouldn't have taken it out on you, I apologize. So I... Oh, on. Did you try to hire that bloke? Oh, now that's new. Even though he declined, I think this was a good choice. Clever thinking, I like your style, love. Right, I got a bail. So I'll be seeing around, I'm only a head fracture away. Cheers. So everyone, 
That's it for this episode for part two of Polypro Plays Overtime. Thank you all for watching. If you're new, subscribe, leave a like, comment down below. And I will see you all in part three.